Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies, and this This is is the Deck Deck the the Hallmark Hallmark Podcast. Isn't it good to be with your friends? It's great. You missed the cue, and you thought you'd make up for that by going louder. Well, and I did. I want to just so say I missed. we said this, it. and you didn't say anything. No. And then you screamed. Deck the Hallmark oh, Podcast! That's right, yeah. But I I just want to um, I just want to say that I feel really proud of the work I've been doing I on this pod. I think it's been great. Uh, but you not, like, you're such a pro that you know to make up for missing a cue. Right, louder. with louder. And, and yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's yeah. what they taught me in podcasting school. Yeah. Uh, they said, you're going to miss a mark. I mean, if you were watching us on Friendly TV, friendlytv.com slash DTH, you would have seen the power yeah. and the emphasis with which Panda just took over the room. Uh, guys, am I in command today? Uh, mm. Yeah, I, I think I am. Uh, we're talking about a Christmas love story. Guys, we are mere... Uh, days away from Thanksgiving, I couldn't be more excited. It is, uh, it's just a special uh, time of the year, guys. Um, are you ready for it? Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to to? Uh, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready to feast upon the turkey. Mm. Yeah. What's your turkey? Uh, if you, what's your turkey tips? Uh, butterball. Always a butterball wow, turkey. Really. And here's why: because they inject the turkey with the butter. Do it they? gives it a juicy flavor. I hate dry turkey. Yeah. I hate it dry. Everybody, the problem is most tr- turkey is dry. Yeah, but that's because you haven't had a butterball. I've had plenty of butterball I, I don't. I, you have not. So you're telling me that they inject the turkey with butter. Yeah. That's why it's called a butterball. That's why it's called a butterball turkey. So if you're a vegan, you wouldn't need it anyway. If you're dairy-free, you can't have a butterball turkey. I would not advise that. Got it. Okay. Good talk. Uh, because they, here's the deal. They take the turkey and they hear me out. They inject it with the butter. I don't know if that's true. I don't think it's true at all. Trace, can you Google that? Yeah, uh, yeah. we'll get we'll get yeah. we'll get an answer. Uh, we'll get an answer, um, and and uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get we'll tell you that in just a little bit. But first, uh, Patreon is uh, burning up. The people are just raving about the community. The amount of people that we and this is true. The amount of people that come up to us and say, "Man, this uh, community of people is the most fun community out there." Is about as uh, 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 I get the answer. All right, so uh, Trace, now, what's, what's going on? said that butterball turkeys have butter injected yes! in them. I said that was nonsense. You did? What's the deal? No, it does not. No butterballs. No, it's just, they're just frozen turkeys. It's just the frozen turkeys. There's no butter in them. No butter in there. Yeah. They inject them. Hear me out. They inject them. Hey, they shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Trace. So, Patreon.com slash Deck the Hallmark for more turkey talk. It's a I, new I would podcast love for you. To talk more turkey with you guys, but I also am ready for a Christmas miracle. We need one. Do you know what I'm talking about? What's that? We need 2,000 reviews <sighs> by the end of season two. And it's not looking... We have 1,600 right now. It's not looking bad, but, but it's 400. Gonna, it's 400 in six weeks. That that's, that's, that's a bunch. But, but, but we've gotten almost 200... In, in, three weeks. in three weeks. So that's... We're, we're barely... I, in fact, I think we're, when I looked at it, we're like 10 off the pace. Yeah. And... Every every review you give us, we give a dollar to so here, schools. Um, guys, here's the thing: we but know we told everyone a year ago that we would get two thousand by season two. I know, and we don't want to be lied. Don't make liars of us. Please, don't. Um, we know that many of you are going to travel this mm. holiday season, whether it be this week or in a few weeks for Christmas. And uh, one, thank you for bringing us along for the ride, especially this week. There's a lot of them in next week. But if you're not stealing everyone in your family's phone. To leave us a review on iTunes, on the Apple Podcast app. I don't think you're holidaying correctly. You're not, your heart's not in it. Your heart is not in it. And Just so bottom line. do it for, not for us. It is, this is do not about you. us. Really, ultimately, I, I sleep fine regardless. That's right. Um, and you know what? But I don't. I but, just want to go ahead and say it. Okay, I have not stopped about for weeks. Uh, I, Weeks. I was going to say it's not about us. It's not about you. It's about the kids. But, but I take it all back. Panda, it's about Panda. Yeah. I, I don't doesn't care about lying. Clearly, read the Butterball story. But we don't want to be liars. No, we don't. And, no. And like, as a group, we no. have a problem with li- being liars. And we said last year in December that it would be 2,000 by the end of season yeah. two. I, I We want to get that done. I went to Live Fest 2019 Oof. back in August. 
And the question, one of the, you know how they do those door, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, those yeah, door yeah. buster questions. Um, one of the questions that they asked was, what is a lie that you hope you don't have to tell this year? <laughs> it yeah. was a very pointed question. So, and I just answered, I, I hope I'm not lying about 2000 by season. No, we have a, you know? we have a show to do, but I cannot let that go without sure. a few questions. Sure. I, I get the concept of Life Fest 2019. Yeah, you do. Um, I do. I did not when I bought tickets. Um, I kind of just stumbled into it. But the doorbuster questions, yeah. like, you know they do. I believe that was what yeah. you said. One, I maybe I'm just not initiated. So, yeah. I, I, I don't know about the doorbuster questions and why they are such a big part. And I will just say this. This is kind right. of... Um, it originated at Life Fest, carried over to their sister fest, Honest Town, um, which is coming up, I believe, in just a couple of weeks. Yeah. And they do these doorbuster questions where uh, you walk in the door and somebody pops out of a door, <laughs> another door. And, and it kind of, I would say they bust through because and they ask you the question and then they run away. What happens if you don't answer the question? You get kicked out. And if you do answer it. Yeah, you get to go. In. You get to stay. It's actually the price. Because of traditionally a doorbuster is an item that they sell to get you in the door. No, I understand how it works on okay. Black Friday. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this has nothing to do with deals okay. or steals. I just want to make sure I have all my P's and Q's. No, no, and I, and I appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's simply just somebody busting through a door, asking okay. a question, right. walking away. Yeah, classic. It's a free fest. And they asked you what lie. They asked me what lie am do I, not want to tell. do I not want to tell by the end of the year? I am going to Honest Town in just a couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm interested in the questions they're going to ask yeah. there. Wow. Leave us a review, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready? It is uh, time to talk about a, a Christmas love song in a red man. It's going to be that. It's that time of the year. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's going to, it's going to, it aired already and it aired on November 24th, 2019. And it did go a little something like this. The movie kicks off with Melody making a big performance at the Grand Ole Opry. She's singing her new Christmas single, Everybody's Loving It. Chase, her ex-boyfriend, is not interested in watching. She sings it. Everybody loves the song, except for Connie Black. She thinks that Melody ripped off her song. They used to be on tour together, and Connie thinks that her song is a ripoff. Her tour manager is like, can you prove that you wrote that song a long time ago before Connie did her song that sounds kind of similar? And she's like, uh, I wrote it in high school. Maybe I can find like, uh, you know, what I wrote it on. I don't know. Uh, they give her 12 days, like the 12 days of Christmas, I guess, to prove that she actually wrote that song. And so, you know what? She decides that she is going to go home to just take her mind off that scandal. And who does she run into at the grocery store? Chase! And boy, is it uncomfortable! They end up going to the Christmas tree lighting together, and the mayor, I believe he's the mayor, <laughs> invites her up to light the Christmas tree, and it's great. They end up writing a song together, and that sparks an idea. We should bring back the Christmas festival talent show thing and have people share their talents and how good they are at the musics and the arts. So they're talking about how much they love candy canes. And they just kiss out of nowhere. I literally yelled, whoa! Hunter Hamilton, a big time country singer, tracks Melody down and asks her to sing with him on his Christmas program. Only problem is it's filming during the Christmas fest. Chase is like, you need to go. And she's like, why don't you want me to be here? Why do you want me to leave? And he's like, just follow your dreams. And she's like, you're the worst. And she leaves. Who else does Hunter invite? Connie Black. And when Connie finds out that she's going to sing with Hunter, who walks in? Melody. And she's like, listen, I'm not here to settle. I found my original song lyrics behind my gold record. So yeah, didn't steal your song. I kind of crushed things in life. And Connie is like, listen, I'm sorry. I haven't written a song in years. Uh, I'm really, really sorry about this. And so uh, Melanie, being the sweet gal that she is, decides to let her take her spot, Like, and she's going to go back. And so it's time for Chase to get on stage 
sing the new song, and guess who shows up to join them? It's Melody. They sing their new song. They walk off stage. Well, they kiss. Yes. Yeah. And then they walk off stage. And then they cheer for an encore. They go back out. They don't sing another song. Instead, they kiss again. And that, my friends, was a Christmas yeah, love Christmas song. Love song. Our song. Our Christmas song. It's our Christmas song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love song. Um, yeah. I, here's what I do know. We did it. We um, did it. We did it. Merry Christmas. Ma- Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Missed you. I missed you. Um, so you're saying they just bust through the door and they ask you questions. They have multiple. And if you don't answer, you can't go to Live Fest. Yeah. Do you know how kind of you, when you go into the Home Depot yeah. Um, and yeah. you go to the door section? Yes. And there's just those doorways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have those just lined up. Everywhere. Everywhere. So wild. Can it's I ask a you a question? Bit. Sure. Can you, do they tell you the date or do they lie about the date that it's going to no, be? No, they're very. When uh, you they, said a lie you didn't want to tell, yeah. was, the two, was that a lie? What I'm sorry, what now? The lie that you didn't want to tell about 2K for season two. It's Lie Fest. Was sure. that a lie? No. Okay, good. You I, told a truth at Lie Fest. I, you always tell a truth to get into Lie Fest. Okay. About a lie. The doorbuster is a truth series. A do, a, the doorbuster is a truth about a lie. I got you. About a potential lie. Got you. No, no, no. I'm, all, I'm completely yeah. on no, Thank I you for those follow ups for next year. Thank yeah. you for those follow ups because I think that's important. Lifefest.net. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. You ready to talk about this movie? Yep. All right. We do have four segments on this show, but we do have a couple sponsors today, and we're super thankful for that. Hey, guys, uh, on the count of three, how'd you sleep last night? One, two, three. Great. Great. Bad. Um, what? You guys both said great? I, I know why I said great. I'm very curious as to why you said great. Well, I'm feeling great. You're you are? in a good mood. Just in yeah, a good I'm mood. in a great mood. But I mean, other than the fact that I've been tossing and turning. All night is long. that not normal? That is not normal. So you're oh, normal. What if I told you, Panda, that you could actually, actually sleep great? You're, you're kidding me. No, no tossing, yeah. no turning. Turning, and that's... Oh, that's good. That is good. And listen, if you are struggling to get a good night's sleep, or maybe you just found out that tossing and turning is bad, uh, you're going to want to get a purple. Maybe you're a doofus like Panda. <laughs> you're going to want to get a... know how to do an ad read. You're going to want to get a purple mattress. Um, Look, I sleep on a purple pillow. Um, I'm saving up for the purple mattress. This is unlike any mattress you've ever had before. It is not a memory foam mattress. It's a brand new technology. Invented I by, love new tech. It's invented by an actual rocket scientist. Okay. It's a hyper elastic po- polymer. It gives in where it needs to. It stays firm where it needs to. It's going to give you a perfect balanced night sleep every night. In fact, it's so different. It's going to take you over a week, probably a month just to get used to for your body to get used to this new technology. Uh, if you, Order a purple mattress through Deck to Hallmark. You're going to get a free pillow. Now, what? The pillow is amazing. I have one. It's the best pillow in the world. Believe me, I tried them all. Maybe, here's the thing. Maybe you're not sure. Maybe you're like, guys, I don't know. This yeah. seems like a big commitment. Well, the good news is this. You're going to get 100 nights risk-free trial, right. which means if you somehow do not like it, uh, up to 100 days, you can get a full refund, and they're going to take it for you. It's, a, right. free, it's a free yeah. uh, return, and it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I, I want to be clear. This free pillow is on top of the other freebies that you will get that Purple gives away. Whatever the promotion is, That's if right. you get free sheets, whatever you get, you get the mattress, the free thing they're giving away, and a free pillow, and the 100-night free trial. Yes, guys, and maybe you're like, all right, guys, quit selling me. I get it. I want it. Let's do this. I need it. I want it. Purple mattress, I get it. Uh, you text the, you're going to text. Are you ready? You're going to text the word DECK. To 84888. That is D E C K to 84888. That's the only way to get the free That's pillow. the only way to do it. Yeah, you got to text it. 84888. That's exactly so right. So no more tossing and turning no, for me. No, and that is not normal. You're at, not a good thing. No, not a good thing. Well, that thing. explains why I've been so tired lately. I'm going to give Purple a try. Oh, I'm excited for you, buddy. Let me know how it goes. Oh, will do. Uh, hey, guys, we have four segments on this show, and we would be remiss if we changed it. No, we wouldn't. Yeah, you couldn't. Uh, we couldn't. People would riot, and we don't want riots. It's so close to the holidays. Maybe in the new year we'll try something yeah. else out. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Maybe yeah, we'll yeah. have eight segments. We'll riot. Segment number seven. I thought we were going to try rioting. In the no, okay. no, 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 no. Got it. But we'll, we'll, we'll add four segments. Ooh, an eight segment show. Uh, an eight yeah. segment show. Wow. People have been asking. Um, Panda, I always start with you to yeah. share something from the heart. Um, sometimes you share poetry. Sometimes you share, so- share sonnets. And sometimes you share your hot take. And I'm going to ask, th- in this case, for you to share your hot take. Hot okay, take? I'll, I'll share that. Okay. Uh, this movie's a big nope. For me. Okay. <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 yeah. nope. Uh, nope. Uh, there's a lot here to, to that I could dive into. 
it's not a very interesting movie. The plot is fairly ridiculous in terms of the, them trying to prove that she did or didn't write a song. Uh, it's uh, There's very little chemistry, in my opinion, between the leads overall. I think they do what they can. Uh, I don't think the script's very compelling. I don't think the plot's very compelling. It's, man, like, it's just, it was tough. Like, it's just a really tough movie. We've seen some really great ones this year, which makes this one just seem so much more nope to me. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like this movie more than yesterday's. Yeah. Yesterday's movie is all time. But, With, oh, wow. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'm going to like this movie less than tomorrow's movie, which is Christmas at Graceland 2. Wow. Uh -huh. wow bold. Yeah. Uh, this movie you? was just um, okay. Um, I liked some of the elements of the music. I didn't like all of the elements of the music. I, I, I think that there is a lot. I don't agree that the plot is. I like the plot. I think the idea of plagiarism and music is an interesting and compelling plot Katie point. Katy Perry had to give a bunch of money to some Christian rapper. That's exactly like right. A few months uh, ago. Look, I don't it's think... It's relevant. He, hear me out. It's not that it's irrelevant. I just don't <clears throat> think... Like, they handled it in the worst way possible because it wasn't an intelligent... Dis I'm not looking for an in-depth expose on it, but, like, it's just stupid. Like, just the way they handled it was really well, dumb. no doubt it's stupid. I just think it's interesting that the thing... It's Christmas music, right? Yeah. It's Christmas yeah. music. Like Christmas music is all one giant plagiarism. And that's part of the, the beauty of it. Um, it's another song about being home at Christmas. Um, so I'd like to see this type of storyline again. It actually has some, uh, like some stakes. Like if something actually happens with it, which it, uh, which it doesn't quite happen. It just kind of, here's the, here's the words on a piece of paper, which doesn't prove anything. And so, uh, I like the idea of this movie more than I like this movie. I still like it more than yesterday's. Not as good as tomorrow's. And, uh, and you haven't even seen and tomorrow's. And I haven't seen tomorrow's, yeah. and you could take it to the bank. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know, man. Like, don't get me wrong. The movie's bad. Like, There's no question the movie's bad. Last year, there was a little little ditty called uh, Christmas on Honeysuckle Lane. Um, with which Alicia was Witt, about the last, yes. Which was about her going back to her Oh, hometown. man, that was That's when mystery. she finds the letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I like and, that. Here's my thing is just like that movie and maybe it's her movies like there's something about her movies that just tend to like for me just lull you into some sort of like sleepy submission like you're watching I was bored to tears it wasn't actively bad I thought the chemistry of the leads was fine but I was bored to tears. I basically went completely comatose and was a vegetable and woke up in the woke up in the song they were singing at the end was fine and so like for me it was bad. I would never watch it again, but it was just so like dreary and drowsy that like I didn't have nearly as much to complain about as I did with yesterday's movie. And so for me, it was just kind of like, all right, that was an absolute slow motion Pink Floyd music video, but I made it like I made it through and the song at the end was fine. So we did it. And that's how I felt about Christmas and Honey Suckle Lane. I will say there's like, gaps in this movie in my brain and maybe I, I mean, didn't, maybe I passed it's out. It's just like, it just it doesn't it ceases to exist for long stretches and i just i don't know you know what the song at the end and i just thought about it what what's that song and a sing sing song you guys know the song i'm thinking of no i got nothing you know that song Hope you get with. I'm gonna try to find it, but uh, uh, all the feels is the last song. Where they do the, the, the where they do the high pitch the, the high pitch singing at the end. Da, 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 yeah, I'll play. I'll play you the. the I'll play you the verse, but I don't and know it the, sounds like the verse yeah. of the new song. But I like the new song. I thought it was a good song. New That's song my feel. Yeah, when, yeah, I, when they were Christmas playing it at the end, I was like, it. It, it yeah, worked. no, I like. The but song. I also have more questions about the song, which we'll get to in a little bit. Do you have any feels? Uh, I guess the when they did the surprise kiss. Uh, I thought it was going to be an almost kiss. Yeah, yeah it, it's fine. That's that's the only one for me. I my feels is also the kissing scene. Forty minutes left in the movie, but it wasn't the kissing scene. The kissing scene was great because it was really what would have happened. But it's the the aftermath of that kissing scene that I found to be really charming. Like the girl comes in 
and they're like trying to act like everything's normal and it's not. It was a, it was a scene that actually worked for me and it was awkward and weird and funny and I actually thought it worked really really well and kudos to them for having an actual kiss scene where one should have been in this movie. Do you remember the song that, that she sang? Na, na, na. Oh no, the one she sang no. Oh, okay. Merry Christmas. I, I miss, miss you. you. Yeah. Uh, let me try good. let me see if I can um Guys, we'll uh, we'll get to uh, this in just a second, but first, the wait what's? It's very exciting. We're gonna get to it. It's gonna be amazing. But before we do, gotta eat our veggies. We gotta eat our veggies. Here's the thing: nine out of ten of you animals out there that are listening <laughs> to this, do not get the recommended daily amount of fruits and veggies. And guess what? I'm one of those animals. I'm one of those animals. <laughs> oh, I am too. But you know what's helped us what's start that? To, to turn the tide? Oh, I know. Kenco. Kenco has mm. absolutely changed things for us. They changed it by offering. 100% organic instant smoothies that count as two of your recommended five daily servings. That gives you a jump start on actually eating what you're supposed to during the day. Uh, they do this by uh, having this amazing advanced freeze drying technology. They capture all the goodness of the nutrients of 100% organic produce with all of the fiber and absolutely no added sugar. Only the good stuff. Uh, none of the bad stuff, and you are getting a jump start on the good it's foods. Super convenient. They'll ship it to your door. It's less than three bucks a smoothie. And not only that, but they give you this incredible smoothie cup that has a lid on it. It's easy to take on the go. My wife loves the cup, uses it every single day. That's right. And right now, our listeners are going to get 10% off their first order. Wow. How are they going to do that? Wow. They're going to go to kenco.com. That is K E N C K O. Kenco.com and they're going to use the promo code deck at checkout. K E N C K O. That's right. Dot com. Here's the thing. Promo code deck. We're all traveling this holiday season. It's easy to travel with. We're all busy this holiday season. It saves you time. Uh, we're all uh, trying to figure out how to eat healthy. This will help you eat healthy. It does everything you need it to do um, with no of the bad. It's none, great. none of the bad stuff. All the good stuff. Kenco is your stuff. Uh, guys, it's time for the wait what part of the show. People have been asking for it. People have been uh, shaking over there. They've been waiting for it. And so I'm excited to give it to them. Panda, what's your wait what's, bud? Uh, man, I have a few. Uh, first of all, uh, dude bro at the very beginning, Chase, uh, tells his sister uh, uh, who's also working in the bar with them after they're watching the screen. He's like, hey, get back to work. There's no one else in the bar. It's, it's literally empty. just it's them. Empty. It's them. Yeah. It's empty. There's no, there's no work. Uh there's just some weird scenes in general. They do a long pour of icing at one point, or just randomly. They just they pour do. icing. They do. Wow. It's a long pour. I miss that. And there's really no reason for it. Uh, uh, I don't know. There, there's there's a scene at the end where uh, Alicia Witt just kind of peeks out from behind the curtain randomly. And if you look at it, it doesn't make any sense the angle she's peeping out of. But really, the thing that just is the crux of the issue for me is the thing that the whole thing's built around, the whole plot point that it's built around, which is establishing when did she write this song? And the idea is I'm going to go back to my hometown to find the original sheet mm. of paper and thereby prove that I wrote this song way back when. To which I would respond, how does that prove anything? Like anyone could fabricate that. And I know she says, oh, we could get the document age verified. I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, we could get it age dated is what yeah, they said. Yeah, age dated. And I'm sure someone could look at pen and paper and give a guess, but I don't think with any certainty. Dunty. No. It, yeah. It's just that to me is crazy. And then like when she finally runs into uh, her name's if, Connie Black at the very end, she won the thing she yeah. says to Connie Black. Uh, they, they just make up really quickly for two people that were getting ready to sue one another. Yeah. Yeah. It just, the whole plot point that to me is so it, it just it kind of ruined the movie for me. I really was excited about this movie and it just kind of ruined it for me. You were really excited about this one. I I do not mind Alicia Witt. I know there a lot of people don't like her that much. I got it, guys. Thank you. We found it. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna play for you, and and I know this is a very long winded way to just prove a point, um, but I'm gonna play you part of the song from the movie, and then I'll play the song that it sounds like, and then we'll have a plagiarism situation going on. Here. Okay, that will be fun. I know every big city, every Christmas show. I don't get home much, but I love this place, and I'm grateful for the smile. Okay, so that's the song for the movie. Okay, keep that in mind, and then we're gonna go over to Goodbye Stranger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's going to my entertainment room at home. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, we're going to. 
Is it a plagiarism? No, it's not. It's so close, but, though. But it's as close as the song at the beginning was <laughs> to the other song. But sure. Back to your point. If one of them shows up with a copyright of a song they wrote and produced, yeah. and the other one shows up with a pen and paper music sheet from 10 years before, the one with the copyrighted song is going to win Wins. the case. Yes. Like, just want to be clear, Alicia Witt loses right. if they go to court with that document. Right, correct. That is incredibly dumb the, on every level. Well, and I and it's important to note that unless the lyrics, it was tricky to know what they were suing over for the plagiarism. Was it the lyrics or was it the song as it is? Because part of what makes a song is the melody. And so it's possible for you to have a song that's like about home and then for her to have taken the melody of that song and and stolen it. And the paper doesn't prove that you didn't steal the song. It proves that the words, I yes, wrote them maybe exactly before right. you, but if the melody is the same and the lyrics are similar, then it's, it's not enough just right. to have the lyrics. Right. <laughs> even, even if, which it might be, I don't know where the technology is nowadays with uh, proving how long uh, uh, ink has been on paper. I know it's a thing. I don't know if it's You're that right. precise. Yeah. But even if it is... I, she still has the recorded version of her song. Right. And if her case right. is that it's a melody situation, then then we got a real problem. Well, yes. And I think, like, I, I want to be really clear on this because, like, I, I'm willing to excuse a lot in Hallmark movies in general because I, I think you have to. And I'm all about having fun with these movies. I, I Like, I like them. I genuinely yeah. do like these movies. But th the reality is, like, there's sometimes where I at least want some – veneer of this being thought through on some basic level. And for the most part, especially this year, I, I feel like Hallmark's done a good job with this. But like this has been the first movie where a central plot point just didn't make any sense to me and I couldn't get past it. And maybe I'm being overly petty on this, but like to me, this is one of the first instances where I just I I, I couldn't get past I it. I think that the plot point's bad, but the plot holds up better than the Ashley Williams plot. You see, movie. I disagree. I think four that, days in a in a hospital for an ACL surgery needs two adults to take care of a ten year old is the worst uh, plot point I've ever seen, ever, ever, ever. This is just a classic we're going to write it in. We know it wouldn't hold up in court. We're going to write okay, it. Okay, I'll, I'll grant that maybe this is a better this overarching plot. This is a nonchalant plot. bad. Like, this is not, this is. Not they actively this was bad, bad. when they put it in there. Right. I, I don't Somebody know, man. Somebody somewhere writing a movie thinks an ACL takes you out for four days in the hospital. I, I don't know. Like, I to me, both movies, yesterday's and today's, are just duking out for just not great. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, man, tomorrow's, though. You tomorrow's, I'm, I'm really excited about wait Graceland. It, really it's pumped. happening. Like Graceland minus Pickler. Come Minus on. Minus Pickler. We're not in a pickle anymore. We're not. Pickler. <laughs> we sure aren't. Uh, I got a couple, everybody. Um, and some of them, uh, some of my Wait What's and the What the Hallmarks are just music related, and, and including this Wait What. Uh, out at one point, she walks in. He's tuning his guitar. She says, your B string is out of tune. He then proceeds to tune his E string. Mm. Come on, guys. It matters. It Be matters. Uh, yeah, there's... They're having a pen document hold up in court. Yes. <laughs> that B E string thing is way down. <laughs> they are uh, selling hot cocoa in actual mugs. Did you see this? I yeah. They go to this hot chocolate stand. They order hot chocolate. They walk away with real mugs. Dude, I just don't even know where all these hot chocolate. I don't either. Exist. But the fact Green it's not a, get it's it not together. A, it's not just. A, I need a Qdoba and I need hot chocolate places. Just any of them. It said hot cocoa. You order. You're, you're going to get the styrofoam. No, 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 no. Real. But it's also $15 a mug. It's different mugs, too. Do you go back and get unlimited refills? Yeah, I don't know. You do. It's just like a, a soda shop I saw Ooh. one time. Yeah. At Christmas Con? Yeah, that's the one. That's good. Old Prospectors. Soda um, shop. Whatever it's called. Prospectors. He uh, he's tuning up to, at the big Christmas festival. He's getting his guitar plugged in. He does a mic check. And for reasons I I am not sure why <laughs> the mic guy he he says we'll use the floor mics that's right and I don't know why and I also there are no floor mics you look you can see the entire front of the stage no floor mics to be found yeah magical unless there are mics actually literally installed in the tiles why on would the you floor even bring out the stands I don't know why bring out the sound that whole stage is hot yeah it's it a is. hot stage um and then I they. They make a big point to point out the fact that they uh, spent a lot of time figuring out the tech to video <laughs> this performance to the troops overseas, yeah. which is very Shout sweet. Shout out the tech. The thing, I don't know why. They, they did it. They crushed it. They figured it out. But they put the camera way over. 
over on the side. Just do that sucker right there in the middle so that your daughter doesn't have to keep going. Yeah, daddy. <laughs> like just straight, straight ahead, straight ahead. And she if, never turns her whole body. It's yeah, just this. It's one. just hello, daddy. Hello. Um, I, yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of things yeah. that I don't um, understand. I've got a bunch, uh, and I know that this is a movie about Christmas songs, and this is nitpicky for sure. But I don't understand like the level to which Hallmark does not understand football or sports is <laughs> beyond me. Can I ask you, you, yes. you said something really interesting there and I, and it made me think about this question. Yeah. Um, if Santa were a football hero, mm. what do you think would happen? Boy, I think the whole world would really get on board. Yeah, I think they would too. I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> Mom and dad would see that Christmas, that Santa is here forever. You get eternity. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so early in the movie, uh, Alicia Witt's going to appear on stage and chase is running his bar that sells out of eggnog or whatever. And he's like, switch it to football. And they switch it to football. And the announcer has two lines of the football game. Are you ready for these two lines? Yeah, let's hear it. The first one is, and he puts the ball on the 44-yard line. (laughs) Now, there's not a world. Now, the referee could very well spot the ball in there. But there's no way that, that the announcer would say that. But that's better than the next one, which is, at the 15, the 10, the 7, he's gonna make it. 15, 10, 7, going to make it. 15, 10, 5 touchdown. That's the only way that goes. If you say 15, 10, 7, that guy's already in the end zone or he's been tackled. <laughs> he's at the 15, the 7, the 6. He's running in slow motion. Three and a half. He's crawling. <laughs> They're carrying him across the goal line. He's a football hero. <clears throat> yeah. So that was really terrible. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You okay? Um, I'm going to make it. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a saying early in that, that she says, my grandma used to always say this. Or my mom used to always say this. A hit song is just a new song that no one's heard yet. And yes. my question is, shouldn't it be the reverse of that? Like a new song, a new song is, is a, hit a hit song, song that no one's heard yet. It should be because a hit's a hit. Well, yeah. Unless, <laughs> unless what she's saying, she could be saying that every song has the potential. Every song, yeah, that's what she's trying to say there. But yes, it makes more, more sense, sense to, to say, say a new a song, new song is, a is a hit song that nobody's heard that's yet. That's right. Every song you write's a hit. That's right. There's people just haven't heard yet. Yeah. And I have um, a, I have a lot of hit songs. <laughs> they oh you do I so do. many. Um, no one's heard of me. They say that the word will travel faster than the internet. No, it will not. I don't care. Yeah. The word will probably travel with the internet by and large, but it will not travel faster than the internet. Um, but I do want to know a little bit more information. Her mom is talking to her about trying to find this document, and she says um, that she let her music teacher sure. borrow some of her original songwritings. Right, right. And she said she didn't con- she couldn't get a hold of her because she was on tour. Was she on tour in Antarctica? Like, <laughs> where is there no email, cell phone, nothing? Like, if you're going to take original documents, you at least email your daughter, right? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. It's like, well, just, just take them. Just right. go ahead and have them. doesn't matter to me. Um, yeah, that's good enough for me. Okay, great. Um, guys, we have one more segment on this show that we like to call the Deck the Hallmark podcast, and it is the what? The Hallmark. It's the part of the show where we wonder what could have been, what maybe happened that would give some clarity to the questions that we still have. Uh, guys, I, I have more uh, questions in regards to uh, the music. One... He it goes back to the the sound check situation, um, and he's doing a sound check, and he and this guy wanders out with a second mic, and he's like, oh, "We don't need that mic," and he's like, "Oh, okay." They 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 gave him a line, which means they got to pay yeah, him. Yeah, paid. So impressed impressed by that. Uh, just want to know more of his story. Uh, what's kind of his job at the whatever building they're doing this festival in? Um, and I just I just really like it. And then uh, this is just another thing. But the song uh, that she wrote was originally in the key of A. Uh, they performed the song in the key of C, which <coughs> is fine. Um, because she does it, it originally she wrote it for her to sing most of the lead and she yeah. wrote it in a for her he sings it he does it in c yeah. but it's just it's just dangerous because there is a point when she walks out and this is very tricky this has happened before yeah. where uh like i've I, i've done a song that was originally supposed to be in a key but i was like oh it'll work better in this key, so i'll do it she walks out 
And she's confident that she's going to be able to sing this song and see two steps higher I mean, than she originally wrote it. Um, and and, and it's just tricky. Harmony, and, and then she, she was singing the melody. right, but she does switch. She and does sing that. She sings the melody for one of the verses when wow. she walks out. And it, and that it gets it just gets tricky when They're you're pros. It, They're pros you like are that. a pro. Yeah. Um, but just uh, I want to know about the what. What would have happened if she went out? I, I like, there's a version out there where she goes out and maybe he bumps it up another step for his voice and she walks out and she's like, I'm ready. <laughs> Drop it down! <laughs> Drop it back down! It's not working. Mm. Panda? Uh, I want to know more about Connie Black's career uh, because yeah. they kind of leave her hanging. She's getting ready to perform uh, with... Uh, uh, hunter. Big country hunter, big yeah, guy. hunter, big dog, big, big country hunter, uh, and uh, she has. They've told us she hasn't had a hit in a very long time. Uh, this lawsuit she drops I just it seems to me like a stalled career that's not going anywhere. I'm also interested. Like, is the Tennessee Christmas song that she claims that was stolen from her? Is that her only? Was that the hit oh, yeah, song? It's the big hit. It's, yeah. I, it is tricky to get into the music industry with just the Christmas songs. I feel like yeah. normally you get in and then you sell the Christmas album. But well, she I'm did concerned old... about our Christmas album. We're yeah, getting ready to release. Yeah, the Deck Homer Christmas you album. You guys want to play track eight? Yeah, yep. play that one. It's Christmas time and I'm hanging with my buddies. Having a real good time. We're putting up the Christmas tree right there. I hope it's the balsam mill. I love the balsam mill trees. They look really real, but there's no mess. There's no cleanup when you're hanging with a balsam mill. Balsam mill. Go. Balsam mill. So it's crazy because I believe that Balsam Hill paid for that track. We can't, uh, we can't I can't that. believe that we, we did that. Yeah, but we can't discuss Track that. nine called Aura Organic is so good. Bam, 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 Aura! It's Christmas. It's a, t- it's a tiny yeah, track. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. A, yeah. it's almost a bonus track. Bonus. Um, did you do it? You did yours? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Dan? Um, I, both of mine were already mentioned. I want to know about these magic floor mics, and I want to know how his tavern is making it and selling out of eggnog when literally no one is there. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Well, he buys so much eggnog, it just goes bad. Yeah, it just goes bad. <laughs> um, I do want to know, uh, and maybe we shouldn't bring it up, but I'm going to. Uh, in IMDb, the bad guy's name is Connie White. In the movie, it's Connie Black. Don't get it. Don't understand. What happened? Don't know what happened. That's weird. How did it happen? It's really weird. Not yeah. trying to get anybody in trouble. No. It's just weird. No. Ha- uh, uh, we would not be doing our due diligence uh, yeah. if we did not bring it up. Hallmark is a little wacky sometimes on the IMDb. I don't know exactly whose job it that is, is to weird put one. things. That's all I'm yeah. saying. And there are some times where the names aren't even close to being yeah, what yeah, they yeah. are. And how does it happen? I don't know. I would like to know that. Mm-hmm. The IMDb's are a mystery to me. Um, and, and a good one though, a yeah. one that I think, um, if we collectively put our minds to it, we can make change Wow! in the IMDb's. That was quite a, I'm looking forward to listening back to that later. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go out and I look on the internet for somebody who is on my TV. I can't discover who it is, cause IMDB is wrong. Who is editing IMDB? I just wanna know who's editing. Who's editing IMDB? It's been a song heavy episode. You guys get me singing. Look, I love it. And you know what was a little bit frustrating for me is you guys didn't even try to point in. I can't do it right now, buddy. Uh, I didn't because I'm not musically talented. No, I'm always in for a singing bit. I don't have anything to help you with today. And I'm sorry. But I do want to know one thing. Sure. Who's editing IMDb? (laughs) You don't remember the song already. No. I want to (laughs) know. Who's editing (laughs) IMDb? 
IMDb. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta sneak it in there at yeah. the end. Yeah, yeah, fast. Yeah, hey, no, it's time good. for the patron of the week. Um, and uh, man, it's a doozy. It is. Yeah. At show prep this morning, you, uh, Dan, you said who it was. Pandas mm. literally stood up, turned in a circle, he and said, "Boys, he you could will not." not I couldn't believe this was the day. I didn't realize that I was going to be so fortunate, thankful, even the week of Thanksgiving for this Ooh. to happen. Yes. And so, who is it? It is Tammy Trimble and Tara. Lip or Lipe? Uh, so it's Tama and Tara? Tammy and Tara. Tammy and Tara. Yeah. Tammy and Tara. Tammy and Tara. No, Tama, that's a different story. Tama. A different day. The, Tammy and Tara. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, Tammy and Tara. They, they, can I ask you yeah. this? When you, when you heard the name, did you think it was, uh, it, it was Tamara? No, and that's why you got excited. No, I got, no. I, okay. I got, I got so excited just now oh, okay. saying it again oh, okay. Okay, that okay, I ran okay, their okay. names together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Tammy and Tara, they're they're. <laughs> They're from uh, uh, Eric's Van Vilton. Uh, Eric's Van Vilton. Eric's Van Vilton. Yeah. Eric's Van Vilton. Yeah. Kentucky. 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 Sure. What do they do there, bud? Uh, Well, they met on the game show. Which, the, which one? Show. The, the local game show called No Sneakers. No, no Sneakers. <laughs> okay. I'm in for this. Yeah. Uh, the entire <laughs> show, you try on a bunch of different types of shoes, and you have to compete doing a, a set of some wacky challenges. The only pair of shoes you can't wear, no sneakers. So. High heel shoes, flats. So sneakers are considered what? Sneakers. Like like tennis shoes? The, I, I don't know what to tell you, Dan. It's no sneakers. So it's fairly basketball obvious. Shoes, basketball shoes, yes or no? No. 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 That's okay. a sneaker. Chacos? Uh, it, it depends five, on who's running the show that day. Five fingers. Five finger toes. Yeah. Five finger five toes. Finger shoes. Shoes. What am I in on? Uh, I, That's I'm not say, a sneaker. Yeah, it's not a sneaker. I think they give that pass. So who but it's going to be tricky because they have they have the, the hot lava uh, pit. Who are the judges that you don't? Now, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter what shoe you have on if it's actual it's hot lava. lava. Uh, it does matter. How uh, how does the sh- how do shoes help you get through hot lava easier? Uh, than a they slip encourage sto- t- uh, t- steel t- tip. Steel toed. Yeah. They encourage it. Yeah. yeah, but it's no sneakers. No sneakers, but that's no not a sneaker. sneakers. But you can wear steel toed boots. Yeah, yeah. what are you boots saying? Aren't sneakers? You, uh, that's my problem. Is he said it was obvious sneakers? There's a. A pretty flexible, no, elastic I, definition. Is, of what I think if it's is. if it's closed toed, it's not. Well, a, Mitch it, certainly thinks so on the show. Yeah. Mitch. Mitch, now are these judges or just announcers? Uh, Mitch is a judge. Okay, so what do the judges do aside from determine if the shoe is a sneaker? Uh, they also determine if you've done anything that would disqualify you, other than wear a sneaker. Right. You what said else the only you, rule is no sneakers. What right. else can you do that would disqualify you? Uh, some people have tried to get sneaky with the sneakers. Uh, some have put them on their hands when they've done the handstands, uh, but they said no, you can't wear them. Can't wear so, them on your feet. Can't wear them on your hands. I, uh, how else can you get sneaky with sneakers? What's else somebody uh, done? Well, some people like to put them on your fingers. They get the tiny they get sneakers. The tiny, they the get tiny, the tiny baby sneakers. sneakers. The yeah. baby sneakers. How does they, that help you with an obstacle? Uh, you haven't seen the table race, have the you? The table race. Yeah. I clearly haven't. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this, because I, I could talk about no sneakers all day. Yeah. All day. How does this have to do with Tammy and Tara, aside from them meeting there? Okay, so they were on the show together. Okay, okay, okay. They went head-to-head, okay. and they, they said, they wear winner takes all. What type Can of, I ask you this? Did they wear no, sneakers? No. No, of course not. What type of no sneakers did Tammy wear? Uh, she wore uh, the, the platforms. She wore platforms. <laughs> You're right. And then what type of no sneakers did Tara wear? Uh, she wore flip-flops. Flip-flops. Can, yeah. I, can I go back to something that you said? You said that they encourage steel toed, right? Yeah, yeah. For, that that it was went, for the lava. Oh, so you can cha- you change out your footwear for each round? No. Okay. Interesting. Uh, they, you never I know what like they're going to bring in before. So they've had, okay. So they don't always have the lava. N- no. So one time, like, so for instance, and this, this they've had to, since pull back on Guys, this. We'll be done but, soon. But uh, uh, Leslie, the judge, recommended bringing in a piranha pit. Did not go well. Uh, Steel toes will have really helped there. Now, for $10 out of my wallet, spell the town in Kentucky this is in. Uh, Eric's Vilton. V- v- nope. v- uh, er- E-R-I-C... <laughs> S V V I N V I L L E T O N Vilton. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that's almost right. <laughs> if you want your and own, they won. Oh, but one of them won. That's how they sponsor us on Patreon. Uh, Tammy. So how does Tara sponsor? Us? Uh, second place. Second place winnings. Yeah, second place gotcha. winnings. How much if you do want, they get for that? Uh, uh, enough to cover Patreon about uh, ten bucks. A month. Ten bucks a month for the li- for life. No. How long? About a year. 
So they get one hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> well, one gets. Uh, yeah. They get the same amount, which is weird for first and second place. There's no perk to there, winning. There's braggers rights. It's a local. It's a <laughs> local game show. Not bragging rights. Braggers <laughs> rights. Yeah, braggers <laughs> rights. If you want your own Patreon shout out, and why wouldn't you? And please pray that Panda's done the notes. Yeah, because <laughs> he has this time. That's good, uh, guys. Uh, man, tomorrow's gonna be a good one. Uh, mark my words. And uh, until then, may we be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast presented by Friendly TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in beautiful Greenville, South Carolina at the flagship property studios on East Coffee Street. For more information, go to deckthehallmark.com.